Well, hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today we have the final game of the 1990-91 um, uh, NHL season for the Minnesota North Stars. This is the final day of the season. And as you can see, we're going to make the playoffs. And in fact, we have right now 80 points. And um, we're really basically in the playoff spot to begin with that we're going to have. So um, we're going to have at least 80 points because even if we lose this game in regulation, oh, well, right, even if we lose this game, we're going to um, have 80 points. And in real life, the actual Minnesota North Stars only had 68 points. And in real life, the actual Minnesota North Stars were the fourth place team in the Norris Division, and we are going to be the third place team. So the playoffs, to begin the playoffs, um, the matchups are going to be St. Louis versus Toronto and Chicago versus us in our division and then in the other division it'll be LA versus Winnipeg and then Calgary versus Edmonton so those are going to be the playoff matchups um, no matter what nobody can catch anybody else since this is the last game of the year so uh, and over the uh, since the last telecasted game we actually went two four and one and I think in that grouping, we lost to Chicago twice. So that's going to be a rough series when the playoffs start. Um, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. And when the playoffs start, I anticipate um, showing uh, every game of the playoffs. So I will televise every single playoff game for Minnesota as long as Minnesota stays in the playoffs. Once we're eliminated, then I will just probably quick play the rest of the playoffs. And then um, I'm debating whether I'll actually do the Stanley Cup final every game, televise every game of the Stanley Cup final, or whether I'll just play it and then say this is how it turned out. So um, if, if, you, if anybody has any definite ideas on which, which way they would like to see it, leave a comment below. But let's get on with the um let's get on with the uh, game the la the final game of the season go to new scheduled and play day we can see what happens here and then go up here again game New scheduled and play selected game. And we are playing St. Louis on the final day of the season, much in the same way that we played them on the very first game of the season. Um, so let's see here. We would be, no. We, we would be the human for Minnesota and then St. Louis would be the computer. And uh, in fact, we'll go, um, we'll go computer lines, human decisions. So, on to the game. Turn the volume down. Uh, so there you go, Curtis Joseph, and we've got Yarmo Millis. In net, which we might as well have because, let's face it, we are assured of the playoffs and we aren't going to lose that uh, we're not going to lose the spot that we already have so so chambers comes away with the puck for us
And it looks like Stevens is roughing up Chambers. Chambers has a chance to intimidate Stevens, though, and I'm going to say yes. We'll, we'll try that. And Stevens is going to have a shot. And there's a save to the right defenseman. Chambers comes away with the puck. Dolan has an inside shot on Curtis Joseph. Surprised they're playing Joseph because really they got the uh, they've got it locked up too. I mean they got their spot locked up. They're going to be the number one seed in our division, and uh, and not much any anyone's going to be able to do about that. So uh, Chambers has an outside shot for us. So it's pretty exciting. We're going to the playoffs where we were um, 12 points better. We played 12 points better in the replay than we act than the team actually did. So that's also nice. Let me, uh... All right, we've got uh, Chambers has an outside shot option. I'm going to say shoot it because he's not really good at anything else. And that's going to be a uh, save, and their left wing will come away with the puck off of that save. So you got um, Basson, Bob Basson, with the puck. And again, the same thing is happening in this game as happened last game. We don't have Bob Bass enlisted over here. As you can see, this is our roster. And I don't see Bob Bass enlisted there anywhere. So I don't know how he has the puck, but you know, again, this is what the game is doing. I'm not I'm just gonna go with it. I mean, you know, there's nobody to complain because we have a Bobby Smith option to intimidate Ron Wilson. Ron Wilson, the former coach of the um washington capitals and some other team maybe the ducks i want to say the ducks but um yeah ron wilson nice so uh barazan comes away with the puck and we've got a next action gotta pick the next action card um player for a shot Brian Glynn, I'm going to say no. Let's go with Churla. And let's see what happens with Churla. And Churla is going to get inside. Nice. Churla with an inside shot on Curtis Joseph. Cujo. And he's going to save it in the right wing for St. Louis. will come away with it. And that is Kimball. So Kimball has the puck. And next action, Dolan. Dolan comes away with the puck. So now we've got possession. We are out shooting them four to one in a tie game at zero. And Lowry now has the puck for St. Louis. Outside shot for the center. And uh, yeah, they penetrated Adam Oates. Adam Oates is gonna have an inside shot. Adam Oates who actually played on the Washington team that Ron Wilson coached. Uh, Neil Broughton, player for possession. I'm gonna go with all Dolan because he's across from an A. And maybe we can draw a penalty, but no. Now Madano has the puck. So yeah, pretty exciting. We're going to the playoffs with a better record than we actually had, and there's going to be, uh, it looks like, offsetting penalties. 
And uh, so I'm looking forward to playing that uh, best of seven first uh, series against Chicago. That should be pretty exciting. And you got Tenorti coming away with the puck for us. All right, we got Bobby Smith with an outside shot option. He can pass. I'm going to try to pass. Inside shot for any player. Nice. Um, I'm going to make that be, you know what? I'm going to go with, no, well, they said Chambers is the best, highest rated offensive player, so I guess we'll go with him. So he's got an inside shot, Sean Chambers. But that's going to be a save, and a right defenseman comes away with the puck. And uh, that's going to be Garth Butcher. The Butcher. Uh, they, they got somebody inside now. Oh, okay. Bob Basson's on their team. That's why. All right. So I guess that's why. The, uh, that explains why I didn't see him on my team. But that has happened in the past, and it has clearly happened with players of our team. Ron Wilson with a rebound shot. And it clearly has happened with our own players, so it's not out of the uh, ordinary to see that. So we got Basil McRae with the puck. And... Uh, Kimball takes it away from him, and so now Kimball has the puck. And uh, huh. we're going to have to serve an extra minor with somebody. I'll take it. I'll make it be Cherla. So we're going to be shorthanded for two minutes. Let's hope we can fight that off. I mean, I don't know, you know. Because, he, like I said, even if we lose this game, what's really at stake makes up nothing. Because we're still going to play Chicago in the best of seven first opening series of the playoffs. So, um, But I did want to do one last game and let everybody know, hey, guess what? This is the last game of the season that I am going to televise. I didn't want to just leave you guys in the dark and then just all of a sudden we're in the playoffs. but. You know, maybe you wouldn't have minded that. I don't know. Yarmo Millis, though. This guy is, uh, he's playing out of his mind, really, right now. But there's a follow-up shot, a uh, rebound shot by Brett Hull. So that's going to be trouble. Goalie rating, five, goal. So they're on the board. They uh, take the one nothing lead on a goal by Brett Hull. And Yarmo Millis. I'm surprised it took him this long. And this gives, you know, John Casey a rest game before we start the series with Chicago, which is also good. Uh, it would be interesting to see if the computer um, plays Casey every game because. In a regular Stanley Cup playoffs, you would you would play your starting goalie every single game. You don't, I mean, as far as I've seen, you don't play the backups. Oh, man, are you kidding me? A five, is it really going to be a five on three? No. Why is it still only a five on four? Unless that. Oh, right, right. They scored. That's why. They scored while we were shorthanded, and that eliminated that penalty. So. All right. So. Like I said, we're playing with house money here. I mean, we're going to the playoffs. We're playing. We know who we're playing. So. 
even if we lose 10 nothing. So be it. So you got uh, Brown with an outside shot on Millis. And that's going to be a save and the defensive right defenseman for us. All right, defenseman. Come away with it, and that's Kurt Giles. Nine minutes left in the first period. And I will do, I'll eliminate big chunks and skip ahead in big, big chunks of the game so that this isn't over an hour long. But still gives you a, a nice sense of what happened. Goalie rating seven, rebound. So let's see. Okay, well, I'll give it to, I'm going to give it to, to, to Norty. No, no, we'll give it to Broughton because he's across from a B. We want to try to draw a penalty. And Cavallini has an inside shot on Millis. That's going to be a rebound. And Quinn is going to have a rebound shot. Saved by Millis. Uh, I guess, was the, oh yeah, the penalty was over. That's going to be a face off to Millis's right. And we're going to use that. Breaking the action to skip ahead to the end of the, uh, or two minutes left in the first period. And it is still only one nothing, which that's good. We didn't miss anything. And there's a minute 20 actually left in the first period. Possible penalty. No penalty. So Madonna with the puck. We're still only losing one nothing. It's not bad. We're still a hundred percent in this game. Uh, coincidental miners. So Bobby Smith with the puck. And now Basson has it. I think what it is is I in, is I played a lot of home games for us, so I'm so used to seeing us down here instead of up at the top where the visiting teams are. So Bobby Smith has uh, a possibility of being the outside shot guy, and I'm going to do that because he had a great first game against uh, St. Louis, and he has an inside shot now. And that's going to be a save, and St. Louis's left wing will come away with the puck, and that's going to be the end of the first period. So it's one nothing going to the second. And I don't know if you guys see this or you follow the hockey guy on YouTube, but the hockey guy had um, a video where he did his all time. I think he did his top, something like his top 10 favorite north stars and top 10 dallas stars um and it was a very interesting list and a lot of the same guys were on the north stars that are favorites of mine um brett hall with an outside shot on yarmo millis and uh if i think of it i'll link to his uh channel the hockey guy but if you type in the hockey guy you probably find it um but he had like um john casey john casey was actually on his list of favorite north stars as was 
uh, Jill's Melash, which is also another favorite of mine, and Don Beaupre. So uh, three goalies, which all, yeah, I loved all those guys. And so Prop just uh, got one of his shots saved by Curtis Joseph. And now Dan Quinn has the puck for St. Louis. But it was interesting. A lot of the same guys. I think Tenorti was on his list too, which was very interesting. So I love watching the hockey guy. Um, now he doesn't have a lot to talk about, so he's doing like historical franchise stuff, his top favorites, uh, outlook for teams for the off season because there's no games to report on, there's no playoffs or anything like that to talk about. So there's only so much he can do. Um, Glenn has the puck for us, Brian Glenn. 1648 left in the first or in the second period. We're being outshot 14 to 9 and outscored 1 0. And uh, Tilly has the puck for them, looks like. And they've got somebody inside, and that's Meager. And he will. Take a shot, save left wing. And Bellows comes away with the puck. I'm surprised that Millis is playing this this uh, well because he has a terrible card. Absolutely terrible. And maybe they've got a penalty. Uh, no, we do. Or yes, they do. Yeah, they do. Again, I'm getting used to seeing us at the bottom because we're usually the home team because those are usually the games that I play. Because I'm used to that from my hockey leagues that I'm in, my competitive hockey, Stratomatic Hockey Leagues, where we play only our home games. Um, Scott Stevens with the puck for St. Louis. Although I still think it's accidental. It's just I would pick out a game that I liked against him, you know, a team that I liked or a matchup that I wanted to see play out. But um, it just happens that most of the time those are home games or have been home games for us. But this one happens to be the last game of the season on the road. Adam Oates with the puck for St. Louis. And we're still losing one nothing. He fails to skate, so that means we're going to have the puck, and we may have an opportunity here to score. Uh, select a player for the shot. I'm going to say prop is fine. And we'll see what prop's numbers are here. I'm going to try to pass to somebody with prop. Inside shot for any player. Nice. Um, that's going to go to. I'm going to say Dolan, yeah. Basson can't handle it, and Dolan's inside for the shot. And that's going to be a goalie rating and a six, and that's a goal for the North Stars. We tie the game against the uh, best team in our division. And also in real life, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but um, although St. Louis is our the best team in our division, in the Norris division, in this replay, in actual real life, I think it was Chicago that actually was the best team, the top-seeded team in the Norris division. So and they were close. I think there's something like three points behind three or four points behind St. Louis in this replay. So, you know, and again, part of the reason why the North Stars did so much better, 12 points better in the replay, is for instance, we had Brian Propp for the entire season because he ended the season on the Minnesota North Stars in real life. And so we ended up with him all season long. Whereas in real life, I don't think they had that Madonna on a breakaway. Let's see what happens here. That's going to be a seven goalie rating. Two is a goal four, and the split is a four. And no, it's not. It's a so the split roll is a twenty. 
All right, so there's a save uh, face off to uh, Joseph's left, but um, but like in real life, they didn't. The North Stars didn't have, for instance, prop and probably one or two other guys, but they didn't have prop all season long. And we did. We had the uh, luxury of having him all season long. So now you got Madonna with an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. Uh, it looks like he puts the brakes on. He's trying to pass. Inside shot for the left wing. And that's prop. So prop with an inside shot. And that's going to be a goalie rating and a five. And that's a goal. We got a two to one lead. With 12.41 left in the second period. So let's, um, with 12.41 left, now I'll play another, at least another couple minutes before I skip ahead. Again, I mean, it's a game that doesn't really mean anything to us, so I don't want to, um, I don't want to draw up too much time just watching, you know, pucks go back and forth like in a tennis game, so. Um, Gagne has the option to intimidate Dan Quinn, and I'll say yes. And I guess it worked, because now Bobby Smith has possession of the puck. And we're only being outshot 15 to 12, and obviously winning 2 to 1. Uh, Larry De Palma has an outside shot. This is the first time I've seen Larry De Palma. Um, let's see. I'm going to try to penetrate. And he did. He De Palma, whoever that is, penetrated. So uh, let's see if he can get a, off a shot that scores. Eight is going to be a rebound. And uh, now they've got it. They got it back. So 10.57 left in the second period. Still winning 2-1. I'm going to definitely do that, um, take a chance at that. And the no penalty coming off the roughing, roughing the guy up. So we're going to have the puck. Um, Wilkinson has it. And Tomlinson takes the puck away and has an outside shot. That's going to be a save, and the defensive center comes away with the puck. All right, I'm going to... Scoot ahead now to the uh, going to quick play to three minutes left in the second period, and it's 2 2. They tied it up while we were away, but still, you know, you got to love this effort by Millis. I mean, you know, he's got us in a tie game. Prop from the inside on Joseph. And that's going to be a save, and their right wing will get the puck. So Ryan Suter has it. Is that Ryan Suter? Rich Suter, sorry. Is there even a Ryan Suter? I don't know. All right, Bobby Smith has an outside shot option. He's going to try to penetrate. And he puts the brakes on, looking for somebody to pass to, passing L. And, yeah, it looks like uh, I can pick somebody. I guess Smale's as good as anyone. Oh, well, wait a minute. Yeah, he's going to have an outside shot. That's not what I wanted. I wanted it inside, but anyway. So Joseph makes the save, and Ron Wilson has the puck. Minute 15 left in the second period. And 
And Berezan has it for us. 51 seconds left in the second. 2-2 two -two game. Shots are almost even. 20-19. And Rick Meagers going to the box, and uh, most of that's going to be served starting in the third period. Well, a little over half of it. So Cavallini comes away with the puck. 34 seconds left in the second. Garth Butcher. Uh, Bobby Smith has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate, always. And he did. This time he did. So we got Bobby Smith inside. And that's going to be a rebound. And that's the end of the second period. Tie score going into the third. And they still have a little over a minute left um, for their man sitting in the penalty box. So we'll see if we can capitalize on that. Looks like uh, Brown has the puck. Jeff Brown. He successfully skated. Let's see if he can success. He successfully skated again. And Glenn has an outside shot. With the penalty winding down. That's a rebound. Yeah, I want to deflect it. And Bellows is going to be the one trying to deflect it. Let's see if he can score off of it. Nope. It's a save defensive center. But they don't have a center. Right? Well, I guess the penalty was over by that time. So... Garth Butcher with the puck. And Broughton stole it from Butcher and now has an inside shot. And it's going to be a rebound, and let's see if we can come up with it off the rebound. And no, I mean, we can. Yes, they can't come up with it. Broughton with an inside or with a rebound shot, but it's saved, and their left wing will have possession. And that's Lowry. So Dave Lowry with the puck. And Dan Quinn inside on Millis. Bad news. That's going to be a goalie rating and a five, which is a goal. So they take the three to two lead. And that's Quinn's 33rd of the year with assists by Brindamore and Scott Stevens. So we're now losing 3-2, and we're down in shots 23-21, with 16-44 left. Madonna with the puck.
And Gagne is going to be inside on Joseph. And we got a save, and the left defenseman comes away with the puck. Palma with an outside shot. And that's going to be a save, and they'll get to choose any player to take the puck. They choose Brown, Jeff Brown. Uh, it looks like we got a penalty on Glenn possibly coming up. Yep. Well, that isn't good news. Not at all. Cavallini has the puck for uh, St. Louis. And Jeff Brown with an outside shot on Millis. That's going to be a save, and the left wing comes away with the puck. This is really crazy that Millis is playing this well. Bears, but we need him to because John Casey really needs to be well rested for the playoffs. We got Hull with the puck. And Quinn on an outside shot. And there's going to be a rebound. Offensive left defenseman comes away with it, though. And that's Cavallini, so he has a rebound shot. And that's going to be a goalie rating six and a goal. So they have a four to two lead. 13.27 left. And I think I will speed ahead to the five to five minutes left in the game. And we do that, and it's 6-2, to two, and now Casey's out there, so that's bad news. We wanted to give him a rest, and uh, I guess Yarmo Millis' um, true colors showed really uh, quite a bit through the uh, time of the period that we uh, quick played. All right, Doug Smale has an outside shot option. He's going to shoot it. Goalie rating six, and that's a goal. So we make it six three, but really, we're not getting three goals in in four minutes on Curtis Joseph. And also, I want to state: do not worry. When we get to the playoffs, I will not do the quick play, move ahead in the action stuff that I have been doing during the regular season. That was only just. Be well because it was a regular season and we were ahead of the pace the entire way. And I just, uh, you know, didn't want to bore people with a lot of back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and nothing happening. But the playoff games, you'll see every second of the playoff games. And Brian Glenn with an inside shot, goalie rating seven, eh, save. So they get to pick who gets it from between their two defensemen, and they'll give it to Jeff Brown. 2.58 left in the game. And that's going to be uh, Lowry with an inside shot, Dave Lowry. And that is a goal.
All right. So, yeah, it was a goal 1-13, to 13 and they got a 1. So, now they're, I mean, you know, they're just making this a farce. But there's only 2 minutes and 58 seconds left, so that's not a big deal. I was not real confident we were going to win this game anyway, and then especially when I saw that we were starting with Yarmo Millis in our, in our net, that really kind of iced it. That that wasn't going to happen. And Jeff Brown has an outside shot. That's going to be a goalie rating and an eight, which is a face off. So Casey stops the puck, covers it up, and it's going to be a face off to Casey's right. So let's see what happens here. Inside shot for the right wing, Rod Brindamore inside. And that's a save and our left defenseman now has possession of the puck. A minute 48 left. With us losing seven to three and losing in shots 36-2, there are 36-32. Minute 14 left. And uh, Doug Smale has an outside shot. He'll just take it. I mean, you know, it's not like we're going to score four goals in a minute 14. And that'll be a save, right? Defenseman coming up with it. Butcher really is terrible at holding on to the puck. So Bobby Smith, I'm going to penetrate with Bobby Smith. Why not? Puts the brakes on. He's looking for someone to pass to, but he loses the puck. Probably to Wilson. Or Oates, since they changed lines. Five seconds left, and that's probably going to be winding down here. Broughton with an outside shot. And that's going to be a save either defenseman. And stick around when the game's over because I will look at the stats for the team. So that's what you got there. We lose the last game of the year, 7-3. to three. Like I said, still we're where we are, and that's just how that is. But let's look at our statistics for the season. Let me move myself off to the side here. Um, So let's go team stats. We were 36, 36 and eight overall, 500 team, which we weren't in real life. Um, our, uh, let's see, our power play was 25.9% uh, successful. And our penalty kill was 73.9%. So let's go team stats and primary. Uh, primary stats. So our, let's see, our goal leader was Bellows with 51. 51 goals for Brian Bellows and 47 for Gagne, 31 for Prop, 21 each for Neil Broughton and Bobby Smith. Um, point leader was Gagne, though, with 127 points. Man, 127 points? Are you kidding me for Gagne? Wow. 
I think Strat needs to work on their game, uh, their game engine here for this. So now you got Casey uh, was our main goaltender. He had a 3.32 goals against average and um, an 896 save percentage, four shutouts. And then you got Yarmo Millis there with his 494 goals against average and 841 save percentage. And Brian Hayward, the second best goalie on the team with a 413 goals against average and 879 save percentage. So, and as you can see, the computer, as we pointed out at various times during the year, the computer played everybody. So, you know, you don't see a guy here at all that didn't play. And then that's how it should be. And it's good that the computer did that. And, uh, yeah. So those are the statistics. Let you guys take another, you know, little bit of a look at them. Uh, these were all the skaters. That's the primary thing you want to look at. I mean, you know, we had, I mean, John Casey was our, is going to be our goalie for the playoffs. 332 goals against average and an under 900 save percentage. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be dicey, I think, but we'll see what happens. They really, they really overperformed in the actual playoffs in real life. And so we have to see if the Stratomatic version can also do that. But that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off. We will see you in the playoffs. Be looking for the playoffs.